Thank you for uh, having me here tonight. Thank you for being here. It's a real privilege to be in your beautiful country for the first time. And I very much enjoyed getting to know uh, some of the students today in class. I look forward to meeting as many of you as I can on the break and afterwards tonight. Uh, this evening I'll be speaking about God's ambassadors. The Westminster Assembly and the Reformation of Preaching. My, my father always thought it lacked imagination to look at a map before taking a trip. But for those of you who are still working on your sense of adventure, let me give you a map to tell you where we're going tonight. Uh, I'll begin by trying to set the stage. By introducing uh, you briefly to the Westminster Assembly. And by outlining some of the problems that the Westminster Assembly faced. Uh, I'll We'll then look together at how the Westminster Assembly responded to those problems by looking at two of its key texts. And then finally, I'm going to offer a description. A description of the kind of preachers and preaching that the assembly was looking for. I want you to understand the, the commitments that, that underlay or undergirded the assembly's reforms. I, I'm hoping that these things will, will perhaps challenge or enrich uh, the pulpit ministry uh, today, including the pulpit ministry in Taiwan and China. Uh, the Westminster Assembly of Divines took its name from an English abbey. A, a cathedral church across the road from the parliament buildings. The assembly was comprised of 30 members of parliament and about 100, 120 theologians. Those theologians were all members of the Church of England. The assembly met during a, a, a horrific civil war in the middle of the 17th century. It was really a, a series of civil wars in England, Scotland, and Ireland. And also between those countries. At the end of one of those wars, the king lost his head. By the end of another war, a man named Oliver Cromwell had come to power. Along the way, the the assembly wrote a confession of faith. A larger and a shorter catechism. And some books called directories. Sets of instructions intended to guide the church in worship and government. I could easily spend a day setting the scene and, and talking about the assembly's accomplishments. In fact, I'm spending a week doing that with some of you. But what I'll try and do now is to 
give you a sense of what it might have been like to sit in the Westminster Assembly. To talk about biblical exegesis and church history. Theology and church practice. The sorts of topics that we'll be talking about tonight. Uh, for, for most of its time, the Westminster Assembly met in a fairly small room. Uh, a, a, a room about the size of this one. But, uh, but you have to imagine the wall by the camera sort of running, running straight over to this wall here. So, so just this part of the room here. Uh, the the main entryway to the church uh, to to the to the room with, that they met was was in the back corner over there. Uh, the room was called the Jerusalem Chamber because it had tapestries or or, or wall hangings with scenes from Jerusalem on the walls. This there was a door in the corner, and then on the middle of that wall was a huge fireplace. Down the middle of the room ran a long table. And at the, at the, at the, at the north end of the room sat the, the speaker or leader of the assembly. Up on a slightly raised platform and in, and in a big chair. His name was William Twist. In front of him, but down on the floor, were two other chairs where his assistants sat. On, on, on my side of the room were three big windows. And uh, at the table sat some, some scribes or secretaries writing down uh, what was happening in the assembly. They, they, would, they would face the windows so that they would have light for what they were writing. Um, uh, there was a there was a small area between the door and the fireplace where people could get into the room. And then in, in this corner, underneath the clock in this room, but th there was a set of bleachers or stands, the kinds of things they have at sports games. And in this in this side of the room, all the oldest and the best educated people of the assembly sat. All of them on the prolocutor's left hand side. Then, then on the prolocutor's right hand side, there was another set of bleachers. On the bottom bench sat the Scottish commissioners. And behind them sat members of the House of Commons who were observing what was happening. And then down most of this wall by the windows was a long bench, a long series of benches, still more bleachers. That came to the corner and then wrapped around the back wall. There, all the rest of the members of the assembly sat. And, and, and the people who sat in the corner were the troublemakers. We all know that troublemakers sit in corners, don't we? <laughs> The members of the House of Lords sat right in front of the fireplace. The ministers had to pay for all the firewood. And the, house, the members of the House of Lords 
uh, took all the heat for themselves. So, that these, 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 this, 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 and they would have meetings in different places in this huge church building. It, it was not an ideal place to work. For part of the assembly's history, there's a loud construction project going on just overhead. There, there was a prison yard just on the other side. On another side, there was a boys' school. They made a lot of noise. And sometimes they would kick a ball into the abbey just to play around inside the building. For a little while, there was a madman who ran around the building at night with an axe. He wanted to chop the heads off of all the monuments in the abbey. He was only scared away because of wild dogs. It, it would not have been an ideal working environment. But there was a beautiful garden. The hallways were sometimes quiet. And although there were beggars that, that, leaned, that, that also lived in the abbey, most of the people were friendly. But, but just a, between the abbey and the houses of parliament, there was often riots and protests going on. So, it was an exciting place to live. Well, in the eyes of the English Parliament, uh, in the eyes of people who are petitioning Parliament, and in the the understanding of the ministers who had gathered in the assembly, a major problem that had provoked the civil war that began the year before, a war between King Charles and his subjects. That, that, that problem that provoked the war was religion. Specifically, the way in which uh, the Archbishop was leading the Church of England. Archbishop Laud had made life hard for godly people, first in England and then in Scotland. The Parliament had called this assembly of divines with the hope that they would somehow reform the church and and solve many of its problems. At first they tried to get the king to agree uh, to, to this assembly. But, but he wanted none of it. Uh, Eventually, Parliament said that every person who was invited must attend the assembly. And King Charles said they must not attend the assembly. But nonetheless, most of them did come. And by 1643, something else had happened. In September, a, a solemn league and covenant had been signed between Eng the English Parliament and the Scottish Parliament. 
with with Ireland thrown in for good measure. This this arrangement uh, required the Scottish people to send some theologians and an army into England to help the English. And it required the English to change their church and make it more reformed. Members of the assembly were told that they would be paid four shillings per day. That was not a lot of money. But taxpayers were still worried. They they worried that if if these men were given a favorite cushion, that they would be happy to sit in the assembly until Jesus returned. At least that's what one newspaper said. As it happened, the assembly had about fourteen hundred working sessions. And it met for more than 10 years. Together, the assembly would write more than 100 documents. Including a couple confessions and a couple catechisms. And as I mentioned earlier, a bunch of directories. But strangely, the task that occupied most of the assembly's attention and time. Was something that that uh, that neither Parliament nor the Assembly had expected them to do. And that was to examine ministers. The the English war, the English Civil War, is is the backdrop to what the assembly did. It, it was a war caused by economic and political, and as I said, religious tensions. It's the religious tensions that had been around the longest. When Queen Elizabeth came to the throne, she made a compromise with the church. And that left a legacy of problems, especially with preaching. Many of Elizabeth's bishops and most of her Puritan subjects that supported increased preaching and more training for preachers. This included an, an activity called prophesying. Prophesying is not what you think it is. It, it, was, it, was a, it was a very popular event amongst, amongst the godly. It was an idea imported from the city of Zurich. A prophesying went something like this. A, a group of preachers would team preach one sermon. The first minister would be given a text. And, and he would, he would uh, read the passage and then he would exegete the passage. When he was done 15 minutes or half an hour later, the next minister would start preaching. And he would show uh, what the main doctrines were in that passage. 
And 15 minutes or half an hour later, the next minister would get up. And he would show how these doctrines were to be useful to the church. And then 15 minutes or half an hour later, the next minister would get up. And he would try and apply that passage to the hearts and the minds of the people who were there. He would ask probing personal questions. And you can just imagine how useful this would be for preachers. Every preacher who is listening to this would be wondering, what, what would I say next? They weren't allowed to agree on all of this ahead of time. They had no idea what the person before him would say. They'd be, they'd be listening and planning their own sermon as they were going along. This really taught people how to think. Most of all the people preaching, but also the people listening. It was, it was just a creative way of trying to train preachers. It, it, it took men who were either lazy or lacked ability and, and helped them get a vision for what a sermon could be. When the prophesyings were most popular, Elizabeth's Archbishop or, or leading clergyman was named Archbishop Grindall. Grindall supported these efforts. But unfortunately, soon after he was made Archbishop, rumors had reached the Queen about disorderly prophesying. Elizabeth summoned her Archbishop to London. She told him she, he, she wanted all prophesying stopped. She reminded him that she thought it was enough for a county to have just a handful of preachers. No more preaching than that was necessary. Grindall faithfully told the queen she was wrong. He said, public and continual preaching of God's word is the ordinary means and instrument of the salvation of mankind. Saint Paul calls it the ministry of reconciliation of man to God. By the preaching of God's word, the glory of God is enlarged. Faith is nourished. Love is increased. By it, the ignorant is instructed. The negligent exhorted. And the stubborn rebuked. The weak conscience comforted. Grindall also made an extra assertion. He said something about the relationship between monarchs and the church. Bear with me, I beseech you, madam. If I choose rather to offend your earthly majesty, than to offend the heavenly majesty of God. And he added, Remember, madam, you are a mortal creature. 
Prior to this point, no one had thought it wise to inform the queen of these facts. Elizabeth got rid of her archbishop. And although the next king supported more preaching, the king that followed him did not. In fact, even if someone was ordained to be a minister, it did not mean that he would be permitted to preach. That required an additional level of training and certification. So what am I saying? One of the problems in the kingdom had to do with the quantity of preachers. There was not enough of them. The other problem had to do with the quality of preachers. And so when the civil war started in England, since the majority of people who remained in parliament were Puritans of one sort or another, they began ejecting or removing scandalous preachers from churches. One of these members of parliament was a man named John White. And in order to justify what parliament was doing, he wrote a book describing the faults of the first hundred ministers ejected from their pulpits. Especially in London and the surrounding area. White's uncomfortable story begins with a man named John Wilson of Arlington. He was accused of buggery and attempted bestiality. Sodomy. Uh, this uh, the, the book then drifts into accounts of drunken ministers, uh, popishly affected ministers. Those are probably the two most common complaints. But also stories of ministers who are womanizers, rapists, thieves, and gamblers. Ministers who are Sabbath breakers and outspoken critics of Parliament. His little book offered accounts of battery and sexual assault and verbal abuse in the home. One minister had threatened to burn his wife and children alive. But there were also accounts of bribery. Neglect of the pulpit. Flirting from the pulpit. Uh, misogynist jokes from the pulpit. Making a business venture out of burials. Uh, begging for money during communion. And bad tempered behavior. Like throwing the wine and the bread on the ground in anger. Name calling from the pulpit. Public cursing. Excommunicating a lame man who didn't kneel at communion. The credibility of these stories is enhanced by named places and people. 
那这些这个书记载的都是有有有朋友就是把这个发生的这些事情的人的名字都写在书上面了。Unfortunately, naming the victims sometimes too. 甚至有的时候也把这个受害者的名字也放上去了。And all of these cases have been tried publicly. 呃，这些发生的都经过了国会组成的这个法庭来来公开的审问。White's booklet focused on ministers around London. 那么这个坏，他所写的小册子书上主要强调伦敦附近的这个这些牧师们的犯罪史啊。But problematic ministers were all over the country. 但是呢，全国各地都有这些出问题犯罪的牧师。And so the assembly petitioned Parliament to get rid of bad pastors. 所以西敏大会就首先就请求呃国会开除这些不悔改的坏的牧师。Divisive pastors. 这些造成分裂的牧师。Popish pastors, 这些这个被罗马天主教洗脑的牧师 and, ，and lay preachers， 还有及把一些平信徒乱来讲道都都开除了。But of course, getting rid of ministers is easy. 当然，你要把这牧师开除是是容易做，开除就开除了。Replacing them with something else is hard. 但是你要找人来代替来接替呢，就很难了。And it and it needed to be done quickly. 而且需要赶快做，不然教会没有牧师了。So Parliament assigned the task of examining preachers to the Westminster Assembly. 所以国会立刻要求这个西敏大会先来这个考核这个牧师啊。The Assembly hastily erected committees, a committee for the examination of ministers. 所以这个西敏大会赶快就组成了这个所谓考考核委员会。And later for candidates to the ministry. 甚至要来准备要来进入这个教会圣职，都经过考试审查这些资格。And it began to function immediately. With a man named John Lee as the taking on the role of the chief examiner. So this John Lee, this one, he just became the main examiner of the assembly. Although the assembly started examining right away, it didn't create rules for examiners right away. Although the assembly started examining right away, it didn't create rules for examiners right away. Although the assembly started examining right away, it didn't create rules for examiners right away. Although the assembly started examining right away, it didn't create rules for examiners right away. It did not get around to this for for about two months after Parliament told them to examine ministers. So, when the assembly started examining right away, it didn't create rules for examiners right away. Although the assembly started examining right away, it didn't create rules for examiners right away. Although the assembly started examining right away, it didn't create rules for examiners right away. Although the assembly started examining right away, it didn't create rules for examiners right away. Although the assembly started examining right away, it didn't create rules for examiners right away. Uh, said that the the name of the person examined need to be put before the assembly. So this, later, this order was put into effect. So this, 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 this And if the assembly was pleased, they would write out a certificate, and he could take it to the House of Commons. So, 委员会通过大会也也通过的话，就可以大会就给他一个许可证，他就可以到国会去登记。The House of Commons would then continue to work towards putting the man in a pulpit. 然后这个下议院就可以把这个根据这个通过审核的有这个许可证，就把他安排到某个地方去牧师当中聚会。In addition to this main committee for examining ministers, so, 除了这个有个主要的这个审核委员会一直继续运作之外 ，special cases and problems required the formation of another fifty committees over time. 如果出现其他一些特别问题的话，需要这个整个来说是要设立委员会特别处理，有五十个委员会来处理这特别的难处。The assembly did about five thousand examinations. 所以这个这个整个大会呃，新大会一共审审查了五千个牧者。But some people were examined more than once, so they only examined about four thousand people. So, 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 Whereby anyone moving around in the church or coming into the church, so, 至少西敏大会立下了一个规矩，任何人要来牧会或从这个牧职换到另一个地方，都要经过西敏大会的委员会的考核。Had to be examined for their godliness and their learning. 所以考核什么呢？他们是否敬虔，是否有真正圣经的这个知这个真理的学问。The main way in which the assembly reformed the ministry of the church. 所以这样，西敏大会来来重建、重重建这个教会的这些这个牧者的施施工。Was was was not so much by changing the preaching as it was by changing the preachers. 对，呃，与其说是改变他们讲道的方式，不如说改变的讲道的人，从人开始。But the assembly did not want to be around forever. 
那这当然，这个新闻大会并不是说要要有常年开下去不停的。They they did not want to keep examining ministers themselves。他们也不想说不一直不断去进行检查这些教牧人，不是要一直这样下去的。So after much debate, they developed a long term plan。所以他们经过许多讨论之后，呃，安排了一个长期计划。One part of that plan， 其中之一是 ，was to was to insert right in the middle of the directory for worship。那就是在这个所制定的这个崇拜指南里面放在里面。Uh, a detailed description of a proper sermon。对，描述什么是合适正确的这个讲章。Uh, and 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 as they discussed a proper sermon。呃，正如他们讨论在这个这个敬拜公共崇拜指南里面说到怎如何讲到怎么样叫正确合适讲道。They they also embedded a portrait of a godly and useful preacher。从那里面也看出他们描述一个一个敬虔传道人应该有的图画是什么。The directory for public worship is really a useful text. 所以这个呃，新民公共崇拜指南是一个非常有用的这个这个文件。And I wish I could discuss it here in longer and longer length. 我希望能够多花时间解释这个崇拜指南讲到这个传道人如何讲到。But I at least want to discuss the assembly's ideals for preachers. 那至少从这里可以看见，这新民大会他们认为一个传道讲道应该是怎么样的。If you're reading the directory for public worship, you would find this under a section called of the preaching of the word. 那么你，如果你有读过《西敏公共崇拜指南》的话，你会找到中间有一段讲到这个讲到论讲道。In that section, we can see what the assembly expected。那在那一段里面，你看到说这个西敏大会如何期盼这个讲道的应该如何 ？They expected the one who preaches to be six things。他们呃希望讲道至少要注意六件事情。Was to be a scholar。第一个，这个讲道必须是一个这个研究圣经是一个有学问的人。A worshipper. 第二，他是一个敬拜的人。An orator. 第三，他是个演讲者。An apologist. 啊，他是一个护卫福音的人。A pastor. 他是一个牧会的人。And a servant. 他是一个仆人。Even before he enters the pulpit, the preacher is to be a scholar. 呃，在他上讲台之前，他应该是个研究圣经的研究者。The assembly refers back to the directory for ordination. 啊，这个这个公共崇拜指南，呃，先论到前面，他们先出版的这个叫做呃教会案例圣职员指南里面所说的。There, the assembly explained that according to the rules of ordination. 啊，所以呃，他们大会解释说，根据这一个案例的准则 ，a minister must, in some good measure. 那么这个讲道的，这应该是。Be gifted for such a weighty service. 应该是得有恩赐可以来做这些侍奉讲道侍奉 He's to have skill in the original languages. 他要熟悉原文圣经，可以有这个技巧讲。And in and in such arts and sciences as are handmaids to divinity. 因为他们要侍奉上帝是上帝仆人，需要了解这个如何讲道侍奉。这是所以不只是科学，也是艺术。He's to have knowledge in the whole body of theology. But most of all, in the Holy Scriptures. But 最重要是要熟悉圣经 He's to he's to be able to understand and to summarize Scripture. 他他要这个明白并且能够总结讲出圣经的经义 To analyze and divide texts. 他能够呃按照正义分解真理道 To ensure that the truths he expounds are contained in and grounded on that text. 以保证他所讲的的道是完全根据这圣经真理道来讲的 It's supposed to come from the text that he's preaching. 那必须从他所用的经文来讲的，不是乱讲 And he's chiefly to insist on those doctrines. Which are intended in the passage he's preaching. 特别是要把这段经文讲到这个教义、基要、真理要讲出来。Nonetheless, he's to be the kind of scholar. 然而，他也必须是这样子一个研究者、学者。Who who expresses himself in plain terms. 他能够用简单明白话来表达讲道出来。Be because he's a scholar whose work is for the benefit of others. 因为他是做研究的，他是为了这个别人灵魂的益处来准备讲道。And not just for himself or his colleagues. In the paragraphs that most clearly emphasize a preacher's scholarly abilities, 呃，在这里面有段讲到，就特别强调这个牧者讲到了他的这一个学习研究能力。The assembly also emphasized that he's to be a worshipper. 呃，此外呢，这个呃，大会强调这个呃讲到的他也必须是一个敬拜的人。And in fact, immediately after stressing. That the student is to be that the preacher is to be a student of truth. So, 除了这个这个这个上面的这个内容写的说，这
，讲到这个，讲到人必须是一个研究圣经的这个这个学者之后，立刻讲到。And and and that he needs to be an expert in the Bible. 他是他需要是一个圣经的专家。The directory states that the preacher must have his. 讲到这个，讲到必须有。His his senses and his heart exercised in these things above the common sort of believers. His 的这个感受，他的心必须在其他的一般信徒的之上。He is to trust in the illumination of God's spirit. 他信靠上帝圣灵的光照。And other gifts of edification. 以及上帝所赐给他这样教导的这个恩赐。And reading and studying the word. 他认真学习查考圣经。In seeking God by prayer and a humble heart, 这个以谦卑的心祷告来寻求神。Uh, the preacher is always to be resolved to admit and receive truth. 这这个传道人必须不断承认并且领受他所学到的真理。Uh, truth that he has not yet attained. What what that whatever God shall make known to him. 是一切上帝借着圣经所所告诉他，他都要来学习。也许他原来不知道。You see. The Westminster divines thought that preaching was an act of piety. That because this Westminster divines, these Westminster divines, believe that preaching is an act of piety. It's a sanctifying experience. It's a sanctifying experience of personal worship. 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 It's a sanctifying experience of personal Preparation. So he, in his personal preparation, he talks about how he needs to really be changed, really live a life of holiness. Before he delivers in public what he is saying, he needs to be able to speak in public what he is saying. That is to say, he needs to be persuaded in his own heart. That is to say, he needs to be persuaded in his own heart. That is to say, he needs to be persuaded in his own heart. That is to say, he needs to be persuaded in his own heart. That is to say, he needs to be persuaded in his own heart. That is to say, he needs to be persuaded in his own heart. That is to say, he needs to be persuaded in his own heart. He's to recommend his labors to the blessing of God. He he knows that he is doing this work is for the sake of the Lord, for the sake of the people. He's to watchfully look to himself and the flock. He is to watchfully look to himself and the flock. He is to watchfully look to himself and the flock. He is to watchfully look to himself and the flock. He is to watchfully look to himself and the flock. He is to watchfully look to himself and the flock. He is to watchfully look to himself and the flock. He is to watchfully look to himself and the flock. He is to watchfully look to himself and the flock. He is to watchfully look to himself and the flock. Pay to study topics and prepare sermons. That this preacher is not paid to study topics and prepare sermons. That this preacher is not paid to study topics and prepare sermons. That this preacher is not paid to study topics and prepare sermons. That this preacher is not paid to study topics and prepare sermons. That this preacher is not paid to study topics and prepare sermons. That this preacher is not paid to study topics and prepare sermons. That this preacher is not paid to study topics and prepare sermons. That this preacher is not paid to study topics and prepare sermons. That this preacher is not paid to study topics and prepare sermons. That this preacher is not paid to study topics and prepare sermons. That this preacher is not paid to study topics and prepare sermons. That this preacher is not paid to study topics and prepare sermons. That this preacher is not paid to study topics and prepare sermons. That this preacher is not paid to study topics and prepare sermons. That this preacher is not paid to study topics and prepare sermons. That this preacher is not paid to study topics and prepare sermons. That this preacher is not paid to study topics and prepare sermons. That this preacher is not paid to study topics and prepare sermons. That this preacher is not paid to study topics and prepare sermons. That this preacher is not paid to study topics and prepare sermons. That this preacher is not paid to study topics and prepare sermons. That this preacher is not paid to study topics and prepare sermons. That this preacher is not paid to study topics and prepare sermons. That this preacher is not paid to study topics and prepare sermons. That this preacher is not paid to study topics and prepare sermons. That this preacher is not paid to study topics and prepare sermons. That this preacher is not paid to study topics and prepare sermons. That this preacher is not paid to study topics and prepare sermons. That this preacher is not paid to study topics and prepare sermons. That this preacher is not Well-ordered arguments. So, this preacher tells the church that you need to have a sermon that is well-ordered, and you need to have a sermon that is well-ordered. And even illustrations that will give spiritual delight. 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 这个指南呢，要求这个讲道人呃要带来这个劝勉啊，再来劝服。The problem with my label orator is it could sound like this is all a kind of rhetoric. 啊，那当然，如果你想成说这是个讲道人是个演说家，好像是这个修辞学的这个讲师这样的演讲指挥演讲吧，其实不是这样的。The, the assembly would would not accept that. 所以这个大会这个指南所说的，不是说要这个每个牧师都口若悬河的这个演讲大师，不是这个意思。They're simply insisting that a preacher must communicate. 他们只是强调说，每一个讲道要能够交通，能够传递、传讲。In a way that even the simplest person can understand. 啊，即使人最最简单没有学问的，也都能听得懂是在讲什么。Not delivering truth. In the enticing words of man's wisdom, but in a display of the spirit and of power. That is, to display the spirit and the power. Lest the cross of Christ be of no effect. The minister 
is an orator. While they knew that preaching would be a work of great difficulty, requiring much prudence, zeal, and meditation. What the assembly really wanted were people who could who, who could help the hearers feel the word of God. To be life-giving and powerful. And if any unbeliever is present, to have the secrets of his heart made open, and lead him to give glory to God. The directory also insisted that a preacher is to be aware of and responds to error. There's, there's an apologetic dimension to his work. The assembly did not assume that everyone who came to worship was going to believe whatever the preacher said. That's why the, the sermon was to employ places of scripture. To confirm the doctrine taught. And that's why these the scriptures used needed to be clear, not many. The preachers to use arguments and reasons that were solid and convincing as much as may be. And if any doubt should arise, something from scripture or reason or the prejudices of the hearers, it would be very proper to try and remove those doubts. To try and reconcile apparent differences. To, to answer objections, to, to, to understand and take away causes for prejudice. Of course, there are there are preachers who make it their hobby to refute heresy. So the assembly added another sensible comment. That it's, it's not useful to, to waste the time of your hearers by first raising and then answering you know, wick, wicked and useless ideas. We could do that endlessly. And doing that usually hinders rather than promotes edification. And the assembly reminds preachers not to raise old heresies from the grave just so they can answer them. And not to mention blasphemous opinions unnecessarily. It's, it's when people are in danger of an error. That's when we're to respond and to try and answer. The minister, the preacher, is an apologist. Unsurprisingly, the assembly also tells, past, uh, tells preachers that, that they are pastors. The preachers to speak in such a way that people understand and see his loving affection. His godly zeal, his hearty desire to do them good. 
所以这个他尽情的心灵热心想要来帮助这些会友们悔改。He's to walk before his flock as an example. 他是走在群羊前面做榜样的。He's to remember both their weakness and their sinfulness. 他也他也是记住这些会众的他们的弱点，他们的需要，他们的罪。He's not to make his sermons too complicated. 他不要把这个讲堂讲的太复杂。He's not to burden their memory with too many points in the sermon. 讲道理不要太多论点，让这些群羊的这个记忆力这个这个这个短路啊。Or to trouble their minds with obscure theological terms. 不要再讲一大堆，就讲一些新奇的这些奇怪的神学字眼，他们听不懂的。His concern is for their souls. 他的关切是这些群羊的灵魂的需要。He cares about their edification. 他关切这些群羊受到造就。A good preacher doesn't just call people to to do their duties. Ah, this good preacher is not just telling people to do their duties. He helps them to see how they can get there. He helps them to see how they can get there. He helps them to see how they can get there. He helps them to see how they can get there. He helps them to see how they can get there. He helps them to see how they can get there. He helps them to see how they can get there. He helps them to see how they can get there. He helps them to see how they can get there. He helps them to see how they can get there. He helps them to see how they can get there. He helps them to see how they can get there. He helps them to see how they can get there. He helps them to see how they can get there. He helps them to see how they can get there. He helps them to see how they can get there. He helps them to see how they can get there. He helps them to see how they can get there. He helps them to see how they can get there. He helps them to see how they can get there. He helps them to see how they can get He's to answer objections that troubled hearts will raise against the sermon. He has to raise the sensitive hearts. This sensitive heart has some objections that troubled hearts will raise against the sermon. He has to live near his congregation and to talk to them. He has to live near his congregation and to talk to his congregation. He has to live near his congregation and to talk to his congregation. He has to live near his congregation and to talk to his congregation. He has to live near his congregation and to talk to his congregation. He has to He will find the best applications for his sermons. So, in their lives, he will find the best applications for his sermons. So, in their lives, he will find the best applications for his sermons. So, in their lives, he will find the best applications for his sermons. So, in their lives, he will find the best applications for his sermons. So, in their lives, he will find the best applications for his sermons. So, in their lives, he will find the best applications for his sermons. So, in their lives, he will find the best applications for his sermons. So, in their lives, he will find the best applications for his sermons. So, in their lives, he will find the best applications for his sermons. So, in their lives, he will find the best applications for his sermons. So, in their lives, he will find the best applications for his sermons. So, in their lives, he will find But above all, the preacher is a servant or a minister. But 最重要来说是，总的来说，讲道的人牧师是仆人。And while preaching is is one of the greatest and most excellent works, 那么讲道是最最伟大、最棒的这个这个工作了。It remains work. 啊，仍然是有要劳苦做的工。The preacher is a workman. 所以这一个传道的讲道是工人。Who hopes not to be ashamed when his master evaluates his sermons? When his master, when his master hears him preach, he will not feel ashamed when he is a servant of Christ. He is a minister of Christ. He is a servant of Christ. He is a minister of Christ. He is a servant of Christ. He is a minister of Christ. He is a servant of Christ. He is a minister of Christ. He is a servant of Christ. He is a minister of Christ. He is a servant of Christ. He is a minister of Christ. He is a servant of Christ. He is a minister of Christ. He is a servant of Christ. He is a minister of Christ. He is a servant of Christ. He is a minister of Christ. He is a servant of Christ. He is a minister of Christ. He is a servant of Christ. He is a minister of Christ. He is a servant of Christ. He's to offer a removal or a moving service for their doubts. He, his, his, this, uh, service is to remove the doubts from their minds. Helping them to helping them take away causes for doubt. Helping them to 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 take away causes for doubt. Helping You know what that's like. You know that's what, right? You can just see the application coming a mile away. You can see the application coming a mile away. You can see the application coming a mile away. You can see the application coming a mile away. You can see the application coming a mile away. You can see the application coming a mile away. You can see the application coming a mile away. You can see the application coming a mile away. You can see the application coming a mile away. You can see the application coming a mile away. You can see the application coming a mile away. You can see the application coming a mile away. You can see the application coming a mile away. You can see the application coming a mile away. You can see the application coming a mile away. You can see the application coming a mile away. You can see the application coming a mile away. You can see the application coming a mile away. You can see the application coming a mile away. You can see the application coming a mile away. You can see the application coming a mile away. You can see the application coming a mile away. You can see the application coming a mile away. You can see the application coming a mile away. You can see the application coming a mile away. You can see the application coming a mile away. You can see the application coming a mile away. You can see the application coming a mile away. You can see the application coming a mile away. You can see the application coming a mile away. You can see the application coming a mile away. You can see the application coming a mile away. You can see the application coming a mile away. You can see the application coming a mile away. You can see the application coming a mile away. You can see the application coming a mile away. You can see the application coming a mile away. You can see the application coming a mile away. You 所以这个呃，在这个公共崇拜里面，就到这个讲道者的话，这个讲道最主要讲道者的牧师他是仆人。And it ends with a stirring or moving call to labor. 那因此在最后结束这段的时候呢，指南你说到说用一个这个很感人的来来来来鼓励勉励这些讲道的人。
the servant of Christ. Whatever his mate, whatever his method might be, is to perform his whole ministry. Carefully, not doing the work of the Lord negligently. He's to serve on behalf of the simplest of his of his listeners. And, and echoing a parable of Jesus about the laborers. The preacher is told to be always looking to the honor of Christ. The conversion, edification, and salvation of his people. Not his own gain. Not his own glory. Keeping nothing back which might promote those ends. A servant's to be wise and grave and loving. And he's to recommend all his laborers to the blessing of God. And then the assembly writes this. So shall the doctrine of truth be preserved uncorrupted. Many souls converted and built up. And he himself received many fold comforts in his labors. Even in this life. And afterward, the crown of glory laid up for him in the world to come. So far, I've focused on something written about preaching by the whole assembly. But I don't want to leave you tonight with just that. I also want to give you a taste of how the members of the assembly wrote about preaching in their own books. As it happens, the the members of the assembly agreed on kind of a rough outline of, of what preaching should be. They had a kind of vision for the Puritan pulpit. As I see the sand of the hourglass slipping away. Let, let me close by presenting seven marks of a Puritan pulpit. Seven marks in about 15 minutes. Uh, going that fast is not really a Puritan idea, but it's my idea. The first mark of a Puritan pulpit is that it be occupied by a man who is ordained or set apart for the gospel ministry. A man named George Gillespie had ordination in view. When he uh, recalled an, an important question by the Apostle Paul. How shall they preach unless they are sent? From this, George Gillespie inferred that preachers have a special call, a special office. Not every sheep is a shepherd. Not every citizen is an ambassador. George Gillespie was responding to other people in his own day. Who said there is no sacred calling. There is no solemn setting apart of a man to ministry. He thought that was impractical and unbiblical. 
不实际，更不合圣经。He he he imagined what, how chaotic churches would be if everybody was a preacher. 如果每个人都开始讲道的话，那教会如何的混乱呢 ？And he returns to the words of the apostle. 啊，回到了使徒保罗所说的话。Some people are set apart. 有些人是特别被分别为圣出来。Some people are sent. 有些人被差遣。This is the core idea behind ordination. This is so called 案例圣职的最核心的观念 Preachers need to be ordained. They also need to be trained. 呃，讲道的人必须要被案例，他们必须呃被造就 John Lightfoot argued that study is necessary for everybody because it was even necessary for the apostles. 这个 Lightfoot 他说到呢，每一个人都需要读书学习学，但是对保罗更是需要做研究学习圣经。They engaged in hearing and study and discussion and meditation. They were with Christ constantly for a full year. They were with Christ constantly for a full year before they were first sent out. They were with Christ constantly for a full year before they were first sent out. They were with Christ constantly for a full year before they were first sent out. They were with Christ constantly for a full year before they were first sent out. They were with Christ constantly for a full year before they were first sent out. They were with Christ constantly for a full year before they were first sent out. They were with Christ constantly for a full year before they were first sent out. They were with Christ constantly for a full year before they were first sent out. They were with Christ constantly for a full year before they were first sent out. They were with Christ constantly for a full year before they were first sent out. They were with Christ constantly for a full year before they were first sent out. They were with Christ constantly for a full year before they were first sent out. They were with Christ constantly for a full year before they were first sent out. They were with Christ constantly for a full year before they were first sent out. They were with Christ constantly for a full Uh, notes that even Timothy was required to study. 那么古德温说到这个连连提摩太都需要认真的查考圣经，认真的学习。And he argues that that uh, uh, preaching without study is contrary to scripture. 所以如果讲道不查考，这不不不是有学习研究的话，等于是跟圣经所相反。He also makes a perceptive comment. 这是一个很有很有看见的一个一个论点。People who argue against study. They're still often relying on things that they've heard. They're still often relying on things that they've heard. They're still often relying on things that they've heard. They're still often relying on things that they've heard. They're still often relying on things that they've heard. They're still often relying on things that they've heard. They're still often relying on things that they've heard. They're still often relying on things that they've heard. They're still often relying on things that they've heard. They're still often relying on things that they've heard. They're still often relying on things that they've heard. They're still often relying on things that they've heard. They're still often Preachers enter the pulpit with a blank slate. Oh, I know. I know. Some people enter the pulpit with a blank slate. Maybe you have too. 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 Maybe Okay, that was my only joke, and nobody laughed. This is my only joke, and nobody laughed. This is my only joke, and nobody laughed. This is my only joke, and nobody laughed. Preachers need to be ordained and trained. So, this preachers need to be ordained and trained. They also need to be godly. 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 They also need to Westminster Assembly called for pious preachers. So this is why we need to change the assembly. This assembly called for pious preachers. So this is why we need to change the assembly. This assembly called for pious preachers. So this is why we need to change the assembly. This assembly called for pious preachers. So this is why we need to change the assembly. This assembly called for pious preachers. So this is why we need to change the assembly. This assembly called for pious preachers. So this is why we need to change the assembly. This assembly called for pious preachers. So this is why we need to change the assembly. This assembly called for pious preachers. So this is why we need to change the assembly. This assembly called for pious preachers. So this is why we need to change the assembly. This assembly called for pious preachers. So this is why we need to change the assembly. This assembly called for pious preachers. So this is why we need to change the assembly. This assembly called for pious preachers. So this is why we need to change the assembly. This assembly called for pious preachers. So this is why we need to change the assembly. This assembly called for pious preachers. So this is why we need to change They wanted them replaced by faithful ministers. 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 They called them honorable, reverent, learned, and godly ministers. Ah, they have sometimes this humor, this this Scotland's this representative,
And when they considered those who were training for the ministry, they wrote about godly and hopeful students. Both of the apostles, all of the apostles' pastoral epistles. Uh, put a put a priority of emphasis on the pastor's purity. Even more than on his learning. One of the oldest members of the assembly wrote a, a book on pastoral theology. More than a third of the book is on the pastor's life and devotion. The fourth plank of a Puritan pulpit ministry is often found in exhortations to hearers of sermons. And, and not simply to preachers. Ministers needed to be ordained, learned, and godly. Because hearers were to receive the word from the mouths of ministers as God's word. According to William Goods, this is the, the message of Hebrews 13. Which says, remember those who have the rule over you. Who have spoken unto you the word of God. It might properly be the sound of a man's voice, Gooch says. Yet that which true ministers of God in exercising their ministerial function preach is the word of God. Jeremiah Burroughs makes this point from Isaiah 66. Or from a line in Isaiah 66. And that trembles at my word. And he uses that line to try and cultivate some reverence among his hearers. A God-fearing man or woman, he says, does not come to hear the word in an ordinary way. Merely to spend some time or hear what a man can say. No, the word either read or preached is to be listened to with all reverence. We can examine preaching, but we don't rail against it. Jeremiah Burroughs holds up as his example King Eglon of Moab. Uh, King Eglon is to be an example followed by the saints. Not, of course, in his heathenish ways. Or in his untimely and disgusting death. But as one who, who rose to receive Ehud as an ambassador with a message from God. Burroughs then pushes the knife in a little deeper. He asks his hearers if their hearts swell against preaching or rise against preaching. He asks them what they really think about preaching. He, he points out the irony of people who, who think they've escaped the world, the world, but still show pride against the word. So, 
underlying this whole discussion about irreverence and pride. 但是整个整个讨论到不敬虔和骄傲之道。Is an assumption that's obvious for Burroughs. Uh, Burroughs, this, his, his, this, 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 Of God, so if it's preaching God's word, then what should its place be in Christian life and worship? So in Christian life and worship, what should its place be in Christian life and worship? So in Christian life and worship, what should its place be in Christian life and worship? So in Christian life and worship, what should its place be in Christian life and worship? So in Christian life and worship, what should its place be in Christian life and worship? So in Christian life and worship, what should its place be in Christian life and worship? So in Christian life and worship, what should its place be in Christian life and worship? So in Christian life and worship, what should its place be in Christian life and worship? So in Christian life and worship, what should its place be in Christian life and worship? So in Christian life and worship, what should its place be in Christian life and worship? So in Christian life and worship, what should its place be in Christian life and worship? So in Christian life and worship, what should its place be in Christian life and worship? So in Christian life and worship, what should its place be in Christian life and worship? So in Christian life and worship, what should its place be in Christian life and worship? So in Christian life and worship, what should its place be in Christian life and worship? So in Christian life and worship, what The faithful ministry of the word is the sure and ordinary way for the conversion of men from evil ways. 这个忠实传讲圣经的讲道是上帝使用的正常的方法来带人悔改归向基督。He puts this even more strongly. 他甚至更强烈的说 ，The ministry is the only ordinary way that God has appointed. 所以这个传讲神的圣道是这个是上帝唯一所设立的。Either for the beginning or the increase of grace. 是是赐下恩典的开始或继续增加恩典，都是要借着上帝所设立传道人讲道。Faith comes by hearing. 因为信道是从听道来的。And First Corinthians three says that Paul and Apollos were the ministers by whom you believed. 对，所以这个哥林多前书第第三章说到保呃上帝使用他的仆人保罗和亚波来来来来教导你们，你们接受。His friend William Greenhill said something similar. Yeah, his 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 friend Greenhill said the same thing. Where the word of God is not expounded and preached, when the word of God is not expounded and preached, and applied, 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 Alexander Henderson once said in a sermon, or once admitted in a sermon. Henderson 在有他讲道里面承认说 ，I know many of you when you come out after preaching. 我知道你当时就是让你们听完道出来之后 ，say that your souls have been nothing bettered by my sermons or nothing bettered by. 说我我你们听我讲道，你们说我没有得到任何的帮助，依然不我。Maybe people were more honest to their preachers back then. No, 但那时候也许人们对对这个牧师比较诚实，就说出心里的话。Well, if that was happening, the Puritans had a question. 那如果这真的是这样情况的话，这个清教徒有问题要问了。Was the preacher preaching Christ? 那到底这个讲道人有没有传讲主基督 ？Obadiah Sedgwick says that it's but labor lost to set up anything but Christ. 所以这个呃 ，Sergio 他说呢，无论这传道怎么样，呃，老古讲道都是要来来呃，基督成形在在在这个弟兄姐妹的心中。The、ministers are to be much in preaching Christ。所以这个讲道人一定要以讲解基督为中心。Your labors in preaching will come to little, perhaps to nothing, if it not be Christ。如果你的讲道不是基督为中心的话，你所讲到这一切都是白费功夫，不会有什么结果。Thomas Goodwin says that preachers would add more beauty to their feet。啊，这个呃，古德文说，如果你基督为中心的话，那你的角度就更加加美了。If they would preach more of the gospel and less truths of the moment， 如果你传讲这个真正的福音，而少讲这些事情，当时那那个时候的话的话 ，These comments are so common in the writings of the divine。这些的这些评论是在这些清教徒这些著作里面是多处出现如此的图片。That I count Christ-centered preaching as the sixth. Of my seven marks of a Puritan. So I said, "Christian preaching, this 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 preaching To lift up Christ upon their shoulders. 在群众当中呢，把高举基督在他们的肩膀以上。Contents not to be seen themselves, so that Christ will be exalted. 他们不想让灯光掌声给自己，他们只要人们注目仰望基督，基督得到一切荣耀，不见于人，只见耶稣。
I realize I'm over time. But I have one more mark of a Puritan pulpit ministry. It's at least a Puritan thing to be running past the clock. The last but not least distinguishing mark of a Puritan pulpit ministry is a reliance on the Holy Spirit. In arguing for preaching, Puritans were willing to admit that preaching did not seem to be a sensible way of advancing the gospel. Even in the 17th century, preaching seemed contemptible to human reason. But maybe the problem with preaching is actually the answer. God deliberately chooses a humble means to amplify His greatness and the Holy Spirit's work. Anthony Burgess brings us back to 1 Corinthians 3. There Paul says that that the preacher may sow in water. But we all know who gives the increase. As in the administration of the sacraments, preaching is not automatically effective. The, the word of God, whether it's visible or audible, needs to be received by spirit worked faith. And so, although the Bible calls preachers co workers with God, Burgess reminds us that success is God's work. Not the minister's duty. Samuel Rutherford says much the same. But he applies it to far more than just preaching. He reminds us that all that we do rests in the Spirit's working. Perhaps that is the note on which I should end. So as we, some of us, reflect on our failings as preachers, let us remember the, the power of the Holy Spirit and the grace of God through Jesus Christ. Not simply for ourselves, but also for our hearers. Thank you. Uh, first, ask in English, uh, not to that in Chinese, so they understand. Um, the uh, five uh, categories of uh, the preacher, the character of the preacher. Um, I recently uh, some observations that I've been doing on the Westminster Confession, that the, the divines have basically put forth uh, the moral law as the standard of righteousness for the Christian life. And uh, you could probably say, and I wonder what your comments would be, uh, if you could say that some of these terms are actually other ways of describing character traits related to the moral law, uh, the five uh, character traits for a good preacher are basically the moral maturity of the law. Um, for example, they should be a worshiper, uh, which would connect perhaps with the second commandment, uh, an orator, uh, as properly and faithfully representing truth with the ninth commandment, uh, apologetics uh, as representing more like the fifth commandment, someone who's an authority protecting those under their authority. Uh, a pastor as someone also related to the fifth commandment of those in authority uh, and the duties of those of superiors to their inferiors 
uh, and a servant uh, connecting with the fourth commandment as someone who uh, labors six days and, and the seventh as their day often of preaching, uh, faithfully uh, laboring six days uh, in preparation of sermons and, and so on, uh, and under teaching ministry. I wonder if you could comment, uh, if you would see or have thought about any parallels between those kind of things before. Um, probably also in the, uh, the seven traits, uh, uh, is that the word? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Traits right. of a godly right. pulpit. Um, seven planks of Puritan pulpit theology. I, I could probably also see other connections to moral law as uh, the high standard of, of the duties of the law, uh, exemplified by the preachers in certain ways. I uh, wonder if you could comment on, on connections you might have seen. I have a question about these five pastors. 跟上道的诫命其实有一些关系 呃，要做护教、护卫的功课跟做牧养的功课，这个跟第五届呃长辈对晚辈的有关系，还有做仆人的，要很努力预备长大跟第四届有关系，六天劳碌跟呃一天的安息，其实第七天呃就是他讲到
to poor people. And I think uh, from what you shared tonight, uh, it seems that it seems that a preacher must have must be very capable in many areas, but uh, they should have godly mind. Uh, from that your point is it is quite hard to find a good pastor today. From what the Pinal Tian so sort of how to get some of the good, the Buddha, the Fay, say of Hayo, the Jazang Yao Yao Pia Tian, the Nanzo. So it reminds us that uh, when we uh, look for uh, minister gospel, uh, the, the, the sem seminary student, we need to be, to be very cautious, which is a very good reminder. So it's all in the house in the show, you have to see. My question here is that can, can you, uh, uh, because uh, uh, many people know this uh, Richard Pastor. As a good uh, reform pastor, okay, can you like uh, comment uh, his uh, view on his uh, uh, like uh, the pastor uh, in preaching and uh, the the one that you you give us tonight? My the one is just is a good one for sure. You want to be a pastor, and the the. 关于他的这个牧养神学，他的这个牧养神学，他和他的这个呃这个气点啊，有没有直接的关系？对，没有。Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so first of all, th thank you for your warm welcome. I really do feel like the privilege is all mine to be with you tonight and this week. 谢谢呃你的这个温暖的这个呃这个欢迎我，我今晚呢我觉得很荣幸跟大家在一起学习。You're certainly right that the vision they have for the pastorate is 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 difficult to achieve. Uh, 的确，你说的对，要找到这样的牧师，又金钱，又有学问，就等等这这些这些有恩赐，实在很难找到这样的。Uh, a couple comments about that first. 首先，我对这一点我有几点回应。In spite of this vision for the pastoral ministry. 呃，这个是牧呃传道人侍奉的这样子的意向图画。The assembly rejected very few of the people who came for examination. So, this, uh, this assembly to examine these uh the candidates who want to serve as pastors, they 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 are rejected very few. Now, maybe that means that the kind of people who came to the assembly to be examined was a self-selecting group. So, so this maybe means that the kind of people who came to the assembly to be examined was a self-selecting group. So, so this maybe means that the kind of people who came to the assembly to be examined was a self-selecting group. So, so this maybe means that the that although there were troublesome cases, 虽然是有一些麻烦的这个例案案例 I, I I think I reject more candidates for the ministry than they ever did by percentage. 如果这样说来话，那我在我的聚会里面如果有考目的话，我可能我拒绝的人数多过这个比例多过新教统教大会当时的 So so that's very interesting to me. 所以这对我来说是个非常有有有趣的一个一个事实 Secondly, I have to say that I feel my own deep inadequacy. 第二，比如说我自己感觉我实在是不合适，不配做传道人。When I think about my own ministry and reflect on this vision for the pastorate, 当我用这个清教徒这个对传道人这样的要求、这样的意向来来衡量我自己的话，我发现我实在是不够格。What What comforts me is a comment. In、uh, the Westminster Confession of Faith, Chapter 16, uh, where the assembly is talking about good works, and and we're reminded that、uh, that those who are in Christ, that we're reminded that those Find not only ourselves accepted in Christ, but even our works accepted in Christ. Ah, so we find ourselves, not only we, 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 not
我经常我是个牧牧者，我我想到这些事情，经常得到安慰的。But when on a when on a rare occasion I preach a good sermon, 但有些很呃很很罕见场合我讲了一篇很好的信息。Remembering that what I do is only accepted in Christ keeps me humble. 所以我所做的不过是基督耶稣因着基督的缘故被接纳，所以这使得我谦卑下来。And and when more frequently I preach a poor sermon, 那但经常来说我讲的道讲的是比较不好的。And I, I just want to go into the、uh, the men's room and dump garbage on my head. 我想跑到这个这个呃。That's maybe the modern equivalent of sackcloth and ashes. Ah, so this, uh, today's example is that I want to pick my own grave. Ah, I'm saved by remembering that I'm accepted in Christ and my feeble works are too. So I remember, I remember Jesus accepted me, and He accepted my weakness and my inability. But but surely we need to pray that churches will send their best men to seminary. 我们应该去祷告，教会要差他们最好的这个这些青年来到神学院受造就。And we as professors need to keep reminding our students that their heads can be full of knowledge, but unless their hearts are full of the glory of Christ, they will never be useful. 我们做教授需要不断提醒学生，虽然你可能很有学问，得到很多知识，但你的心里如果不是就是有荣耀基督这个意象在你心里的话，那么这一切都是不会被神所接纳。That was a very negative way of saying that. 这是一个负面的说法。The most, the most effective pastors. 最最有效的牧师是 They know God's word and they, they love God Himself. 他们知道神的话，他们爱神。Um, but there are two parts to your comment. I I think Richard Baxter would not disagree with anything of what I've just said. I think this Baxter would not disagree with anything of what I've just said. I think this Baxter would not disagree with anything of what I've just said. I think this Baxter would not disagree with anything of what I've just said. 我想，这个这个巴克斯特他的优点是提醒我们这些牧者的职责。Then of pointing the pastor to Christ。呃，但他却呃，比较来说，他没有让我们更加这个注目基督吧。There's a legalistic streak to to Baxter, if I may say so。因为巴克斯特，我如果这样说，他的一些方法的实践层面是教你很多方法，一步步这样做都写出来，比较机械化的，有点好像律法主义者的倾向。But not many English pastors wrote. Not many, many English Puritans wrote pastoral theologies. 但是不是英格兰不是有太多人写写作教牧的神学方面。Baxter does not speak for everyone. 那这个巴克斯并不代表所有新教徒。One of the more one of the more famous pastoral theologies of of his of of that day. 在当时他那个那个时代的时候，呃，有名的这个教牧神学著作。Was written in Latin. 是用拉丁文写的。By a member of the assembly. 是由这个呃西敏大会里面的这个会员一个人写的。It was written in Latin, so more people could read it. In Latin. In Latin. So more people could read it. So more people could read it. 所以所以这个他用拉丁文写作，所以许多这个不懂英文的也可以明白了。Because every student and every minister knew Latin. Not just in England, but across the the channel and the continents as well. Not just in England, but across the channel and the continents as well. Not just in England, but across the channel and the continents as well. Not just in England, but across the channel and the continents as well. Not just in England, but across the channel and the continents as well. Not just in England, but across the channel and the continents as well. Not just in England, but across the channel and the continents as well. Not just in England, but across the channel and the continents as well. Not just in England, but across the channel and the continents as well. Not just in England, but across the channel and the continents as well. Not just in England, but across the channel and the continents as well. Not just in England, but across the channel and the continents as well. Not just in England, but across the channel and the continents as well. Not just in England, but across the channel and the continents as well. Not just in England, but across the channel and the continents as well. Not just in England, but across And it's called, I think, the Gospel Ministry. Ah, his name is called the Gospel Ministry. Or the Gospel Pastor. I'm forgetting which. I know the Latin, but I'm forgetting what we translate it as in English. I remember the Latin, but I forgot the English translation. Thank you. Thank you very much. 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 说，好，我想问一下，就是老师刚才提到那个，就牧者应该有六个目标，一些呃这些目标，那在实际生活中，实际上当一个人操练这六个目标的时候，啊，至少我的想法，从我会觉得时间不是那么的允许。
。那比如说，当时年的清教徒，他是是怎么安排时间来操练这种六个目标？另外一个，一个神学生在操练的时候，是否不同的人生阶段，实际上操练的点可能会不同？在 talking about the his trait, his character, the uh uh past and hope, the ministry, the six goals, six criteria. How how did they attend the practices? We can have the six areas grow. So is that a life goal practice? How do they practice today? How do we do that? So it seems to me the question has two parts. So, 听起来这个问题有两部分 Given the, you know, the 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 six、uh, aspects of what it means to be a preacher. So, 呃，讲到了有六方面的这个意义是什么 Were you asking first how the Westminster Assembly tried to, how members of the assembly tried to? To display this in their own ministry, and second, how do we do that? This is this is your question. Is the first one? So these, 当时新教徒的牧者，他们如何操操练这这六件事情啊？那今天我们要如何操练？是不是 ？So, um, the the Westminster divines themselves. 新教徒的这些西敏开会这些牧师神学家们 ，when they were writing as a group， 他们在一起写作的时候。They come up with an excellent description of preaching, preachers, and preaching. They write out this, 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 very, very good. Talk about what is talked about, what is talked about, what is talked about. But from week to week, but from week to week, man to man, 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 One man writes a whole book on preaching and never mentions preaching Christ. Yeah, 有但是有人写一本书讲讲到讲到他一点都没提到讲到以基督为中心 Thankfully, it's a Latin book and no one will read it anymore. Oh, 所以这是拉丁民族的，感谢主，没有人再读这个书了 And another minister wrote a book called The Preaching of Christ. 那另外一个一个牧者写了一本书，就是传讲基督 It's one of the most beautiful books on preaching I've ever read. 这是我所读过论到讲道方面最美的 And his sermons are always full of Christ. 他的讲道讲道内容都充满了基督为中心 So hit and miss. 所以你看这边有一些有些的操练做，有些没有做到。Uh, one one man had a perfectly balanced ministry. He he always had the right balance with law and gospel. He preached for a year on the law. Then he preached for a year on the gospel. As long as you were there the whole time, you got a perfectly balanced ministry. If you were there the whole time, you got a perfectly balanced ministry. That's not how I would recommend doing things. This 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 is not how I would recommend doing things. This 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 is not how I would recommend doing things. This 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 is not how I would recommend doing things. This 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 is not how I would recommend doing things. This 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 is not how I would recommend doing things. This 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 is not how I would recommend doing things. This 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 is not how I would recommend doing things. This 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 is not how I would recommend doing things. This 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 is not how I would recommend doing things. This 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 is not how I would recommend doing things. This 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 is not how I would recommend doing things. This 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 is not how I would recommend doing things. This 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 is not how I would recommend doing things. This 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 is not how I would recommend doing things. This 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 is not how I would recommend doing things. This 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 is not how I would recommend doing things. This 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 is not how I would recommend doing things. This 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 is not how I would recommend doing things. This 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 is not how I would recommend doing things. This 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 is not how I would recommend doing things. This 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 is not how I would recommend doing things. This 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 is not how I would recommend doing things. This 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 is not how I would recommend doing That these kinds of checklists are useful. I think these these checklists, these six 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 Who is this sermon serving? Yeah, this sermon is to preach to who? Are there doubters in my congregation? Have I answered their questions? Are there doubters in my congregation? Have I answered their questions? Are there doubters in my congregation? Have I answered their questions? Are there doubters in my congregation? Have I answered their questions? Are there doubters in my congregation? Have I answered their questions? Are there doubters in my congregation? Have I answered their questions? Are there doubters in my congregation? Have I answered their questions? Are there doubters in my congregation? Have I answered their questions? Are there doubters in my congregation? Have I answered their questions? Are there doubters in my congregation? Have I answered their questions? Are there doubters in my congregation? Did I meditate on this passage? Was I really meditating 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 on this passage?
ask yourself those questions every time. But I think even seasoned ministers should ask themselves these questions sometimes. Because we, we can get into bad habits accidentally. I, I preached for years. And then one day finished a sermon and, and realized I hadn't really preached Christ. It's, it's so basic and obvious. I mean, I taught preaching in my seminary. And my sermon had no Christ, no gospel in it at all. So back I went to work. So it's, these, this is useful for me. It should be useful for Seasoned preachers, maybe, and for and for new preachers as well. So, well, that's a hard question. <laughs> but I think I might have a bit of an answer. Um, I think that um, words on the screen might bother some of them. For this reason. Because they don't want preaching to just become teaching. There's something about persuasion in preaching. And, and sometimes a sermon can become less effective in terms of persuasion if, if you've already revealed the end of the sermon from the beginning. I know ministers who do this all the time. They tell you before you begin what the main point is going to be. And that might be okay and some people really like that. But it can also rob the sermon of interest. So, so I think that would be one concern. And you know, they would probably disagree on this. But, how about pictures and other objects and so on? I think they would think the main visual aid of a worship service would come with the sacraments, not the sermon. God has given us visual aids. It's just not for the sermon part of the service. The second question is, uh, can you explain more about the preacher when he is preaching or prepare preaching, how to rely on the Holy Spirit? You've probably all heard the famous story about Charles Spurgeon. Every Sunday as he went up the pulpit steps, he would say or pray the same thing. Do you know what he said? 
I believe in the Holy Spirit. Then he would take another step. I believe in the Holy Spirit. All the way up the steps. I, I try to rely on the Holy Spirit by praying. Right from the very beginning of my sermon preparation. Translation, meditation, reading commentaries. I keep asking the Lord will lead me to the right thoughts and the right conclusions. I pray He'll help me write the sermon clearly. To revise it clearly. And then to preach it clearly. And then very importantly, before I preach, I ask the Lord to, to bless the sermon. To humble me if necessary while preaching the sermon. And to help me give him the praise when I'm done preaching the sermon. That's not very fancy. I suppose there's one more small thing. And that is, before I preach, I try to pay attention to what I sing. Oh, why? I try to pay attention to what I'm singing. Okay. Um, because I think if I'm if I'm worshiping God, and not sneaking in a tiny bit more sermon preparation, I've already begun to rely on Him. Instead of relying too much on my own preparation. I don't know if that makes sense, but this is how I think about this. And I am only a baby in learning how to rely on the Holy Spirit. I'm just a child. Uh, young preacher, uh, uh, experience of, of preaching, uh, maybe the beginning of his preaching uh, will waste time of the congregation. Uh, do, you, do you have uh, any words to speak to the non experienced uh, young preacher? Suggestion helping them not to waste the time of the congregation to edify, rather to edify. To waste time on the congregation or to waste the time of the congregation? Not waste time at all. So, so how to best use the congregation's time and to yeah. honor them in the way we use time? That's in how to prepare a good sermon, not to waste the time for they come to hear your music. Oh yes, yes. The problem is that, young preachers, they talk about they don't have that much experience. At the beginning, they talk about wasting time. The pastor, please, the pastor, do you have any advice for young preachers? Any advice for them to not waste time for they come to hear their music? Let them talk to their pastor. My wife would love to answer this question. <laughs> um, so a, a couple different quick thoughts. If you're a beginning preacher, and I acknowledge everybody has a different opinion about this. I recommend that you write out your sermon. You don't. You do not have to preach from what you wrote out. You can bring an outline into the pulpit. But the be, but there's a benefit to writing it out. And that is, you should, if you write it out, you've at least shown that you can think through it clearly. And if you can say something clearly that's in God's word, 
then most of your worries about wasting people's time should be gone. 那么你就不用担心说你会浪费这个会众听到的时间，因为你已经写下来神的话的讲解。But but as you get a little bit better, 当你越来越进步之后。The other thing that writing out your sermon, there's one, there's another benefit to writing out your sermon. 另外有一个优点，你写下讲章的话 ，that is if if you finish your sermon, let's say on a Thursday or a Friday. 像比方说你完成讲章在星期星期四或星期五 ，and you can come back to it on a Saturday night after you've put all your children to bed. 那当星期六你把孩子送上床之后呢，你开始再看一看的讲章 ，then you can look at your sermon with new eyes. 你可以用新的眼光来看你的讲章 ，and sometimes you can see. What is fluff? Sermons almost always have fluff. That's something that you think is so interesting. Or that seemed important two days ago. And you look at it again, you think they don't really need to hear this. That's interesting to me, but not to anybody else. I think to take five minutes off a sermon requires about half an hour of work. At the beginning, it might take about an hour of work. But if you work for an extra one or two hours on your sermon, you can sometimes make it about ten minutes shorter. Every congregation is different, of course. But many people begin to fade at forty minutes, but they're strong at thirty minutes. Many many people in the congregation will will not listen as well after thirty minutes or so. So this sermon, too long, if you pay attention to the first thirty minutes, the second thirty minutes, they will start to fall asleep. A good preacher can hold your attention for forty or forty-five minutes. A good preacher can hold your attention for forty or forty-five minutes. A good preacher can hold your attention for forty or forty-five minutes. But most of us imagine that we are better than we really are. So this is one way of of not wasting people's time. So, 这样来说，不要浪费听众时间，好好准备讲章写下来。But but don't be too worried. 但是不要太担心。They've called you to be the pastor because they want to hear from God's word. 他们招你来做牧师，因为他们希望从你听到上帝的话语的讲解。So preach God's word. To 传讲主的话 Trust God's spirit. 呃，信靠神的圣灵 Lift up Christ's son. 呃，以基督耶稣为中心 And don't apologize. 呃，你不需要跟会众道歉 And the Lord will help you over time to be better. 神会继续训练你，使你经过时间，你会成为一个更好的传道人、讲道。Thank you for these excellent questions. 谢谢大家今晚问题。Yes. 好，最后我们请老师带我们来祷告结束。Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, you are a covenant maker. You offer promises that you always fulfill. What you give, you never take away. You are utterly trustworthy. And we come to worship and praise your holy name. But Father, we are so different. We are covenant breakers. We are often distracted by the the things of this world. Sometimes we are more loyal to them than we are to you. This is true even of those of us who are preachers and pastors. Students in the seminary. We try to manage sin. We want to manage our own 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 sin. 
These gods are so empty of any promise. Only makes us more ashamed that the temptation is so real. And the fact that the danger is so real. Only makes us more desperate for your help. And so forgive us for Jesus' sake. Because he is the one who resisted all temptation. Help us in your spirit's power. Because he is the one who can deliver us from all danger. And as we ask these things, we are emboldened to ask even more. In spite of our own weakness, and the weakness of those whom we love, we pray that your word would continue to increase. That the number of disciples would be increased greatly. And increased everywhere. And that those who have struggles like our own would become obedient to the faith. Fill us all with your grace and power. So that no one will be able to withstand the wisdom. Or withstand the spirit with which we speak. And in all of this, may your name be lifted high above us. As we ourselves recede into the crowd of your worshipers. In Jesus' blessed name, we ask these things. Amen. Amen.